Hello, today's video will show you how to make the motif two. Uh, motif two, there is a small flower. So the round uh, um, one and the flower, you just pick up the uh, colors which you left over um, and pick up randomly. Now, first we do the uh, first round. As usual, we make a magic ring. And in the ring, we need to make eight single crochets. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we tighten. And make a slip stitch to the first single crochet. Okay, so the second round we still use the same color. First, um, we make a chain. This chain doesn't count as any stitch. And then we make a single crochet in the same stitch the slip stitch the stitch we make the slip stitch and then we make three chains then we skip one stitch and to next stitch we make a single crochet then repeat this three sing three chains skip one stitch and one row crochet and three chain skip one stitch three chain and then the last one we make a slip stitch on the first single crochet okay then we um, tighten and uh, cut the yarn Uh, so this is the two rounds and we do not need to weave, yarn, weave in the yarn now. We can weave in next round. And the next from round three, we will crochet for the flower. So use the flower um, color yarn. And we start from any single crochet stitch of last round here. And then we go in and then make one chain. Then we make four double crochets in this three chain space. Uh, I usually weave in the yarn like this. two, three, four. After we make four double crochets, we make one single one chain and then we make a slip stitch on the next single crochet stitch this one then we repeat one chain and make four double crochets in the three chain space one two three four and one chain make a slip stitch into next and single crochet stitch and then repeat at this moment we can weave in these yarns here one two three four and one chain and make a slip stitch
and repeat one chain and uh, four double crochets and one chain and the first the start stitch make a slip stitch so the third round is finished after this round we just we can cut the cut the yarn tails okay now we will do um the round four the fourth round fourth round first we make three chains these three chains we doesn't count as any stitch we just want to use these three chains to carry the stitch to the proper space and uh, place so you always ignore these three chains after so first we make a double crochet from the on the stitch and um, for the second round we just skip a stitch here right so we just make a double crochet on this stitch but from the back from this the flower petal you can push to the front so we make a double crochet in this stitch remember these three chains just for carry uh, the stitches to the proper place so ignore this all the time and then we do five chains and then make a um, double crochet to the next this skip stitch of round one so we just from the back don't forget from the back and then five chains repeat And then we do five chains and then make a slip stitch on the first double crochet always ignore these three chain stitches a slip stitch so now it's like this then we start to crochet um, the fifth round and two chain and we make six double crochet in the space of this one the this is the five chain space we make six and um, double crochets after make six double crochets we do two chains and then make a slip stitch to the double crochet stitch so this is a group we just repeat this for another three times two chains then six double crochets Then two chains slip to the next double crochet stitch like this. So we finished these two uh, petals. Uh, now I finished this six uh, double crochets and then two chains. We make a slip to slip stitch to the first uh, double crochet. So then the round five is finished then we go to next round next round will be um, start another layer of the petal so first five chains this five chain is the same feature as these three chains just bring the uh, stitches to a proper space a place so just ignore this in the future 
And for this stitch, we need to make a back post double crochet on this stitch. On the stitch, um, which the I think this is the round the single crochet stitch of round two, just this stitch, this stitch. So we need to crochet from back. This do a back post. So this stitch is this. So we do a back post. Double crochet. And then we do seven chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven chains. And then we do a back post double crochet next stitch. This one. This is the single crochet stitch of round two. Repeat this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and next. You you can see every uh, each back post double crochet. We just um, pick up and post just between. And um, how to say that? That is under this petal, right? And between the this two, this space. So you can do like this. This is the third layer. And then seven chains. And then we pick up this one, do a back post double crochet, and then seven chains. And then just ignore these five chains. Make a slip stitch on the double, the first uh, back post double crochet stitch. Make. Okay. Then next, the seventh round. Seventh round is the petal of the third layer. So we do two chains. Let's start with two chains. Then we do four double crochet in the seven chain space and then two chain and four double crochet in the same space then two chain and make a slip stitch on the uh, back post double crochet stitch so this is uh, a petal which is this is a group which is two chains four double crochet two chain four double crochet two chain a slip stitch on the um, back post double crochet stitch so we repeat this for another three times to finish this round that is two chain and four double crochet two chain and four double crochet I'm sorry. Hmm? and two chain and make a slip stitch so repeat to finish this round uh, then the last stitch is slip to the um, first stitch and then we will do the last layer so first same we do five chains and this five chains doesn't count as any stitch just like this five stitches as these three stitches and then we next we need to do a back post double crochet on the stitch this double cro um, this, this double crochet 
the post office is double crochet, and this is to uh, the fourth round. We just make this double crochet. So this time we need to do a back post double crochet on the um, on the post of this stitch of round four. And then we make nine chains. And then we do next. We find first we found this stitch, this stitch, and we pick up from the back of its post, back post double crochet. And the nine chains. And then we found which find this stitch and pick up from the back. And then nine chains. Next. First, we found this. This is the three chains. It's useless, right? We pick up from this one. Okay, then last nine, nine chains, and a slip stitch on the first double, a back post double crochet stitches. Then next we do the, um, the petals of the last layer. The last, let's start, first we do two chains, and then one double crochet. Then we do, um, five triple crochets. Do five. This is five. Then we do two chain, and then do five uh, triple crochets in the same space. After five triple crochets, we do a double crochet. And then two chains, make a slip stitch to the next double crochet stitch. So this is the a group, which is two chains, and one double crochet and five triple crochet, two chains, five triple crochet crochet and one double crochet, two chains, a slip stitch to the next and um, double crochet stitch. Let's repeat this for another three times to finish this round. And then uh, the last stitch is a slip stitch to the first stitch. And then we cut the yarn. And we, um, we in the yarn with the sewing needle. Okay, now the flower is finished. Now let's start the uh, the leaves. Uh, first, let's look at the back of the flower. The back of the flower, we can see um, there are four double crochet stitches of uh, round seven. Uh, I'm sorry, of uh, round eight. And there are also, we have 
this four、um, back post double crochet stitch from round six. So total we have an、um, eight stitches. One is the round of round eight. One is for round six. So we start、um, from any post of the round eight post for this one. We start from this one. So first, we just do a back post and connect the yarn. And then、uh, I like weave in the yarn like this way. We do nine chains, one, two. This is my way to weave in the yarns. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we. Uh, back slide back, slip back to the sixth、um, stitch from the hook. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This stitch make a slip stitch, and then we do three chains. After this, we need to pick up the post from the、um, round six. Pick up this post, and we make a. Back post single crochet, and then we do nine chains again. And then go back to the sixth stitch, slip stitch, and three chains, and then we make a back post slip stitch. On the the post of、um, round eight, this we make a slip stitch, and then again nine chains, back to the six and a three chain. And then we need to make a back post single crochet on the post of, um, round six. This one. So, um, from this we can find that when we go to the um post of the stitch on of the round six, we make a back post single crochet. And when we go up to the、um, post of the eighth round, then we just do a back post slip stitch, and between this we all do nine chains and go slip back to the sixth stitch, then three chains, like this. So let's repeat and to finish this round, three chains. Uh, nine chains, three. Back to the six. And three chains. Now we need to go up to the the eighth eighth round the post. Eighth round the post. We do a back post. Slip. Stitch. Nine. Back to the six. Three. Then we go to the nine. Ah,、uh, the six round. We do a single crochet back post single crochet. And then we make a back post slip stitch.
Then we go to the sixth. We make a back post single crochet. Then nine chains. Okay, now we go to the last um, stitch of this last stitch. We just go to this stitch, the first stitch make a slip stitch so the round 10 is finished after this we can check we will have eight of this one you can check one two four six eight if you um, found it is seven or six that means you missed the one post so you need to check that is eight then we start round 11. Okay, first we make five double crochet at this six chain loop. We do five. We After the round 10, we do not need to do any other stitches, just directly insert to the six chain loop, make five chains. After the five chains, we make a two stitch picot. So that is two chains. Then go back to this one, this stitch, pick up two loops, make a slip stitch. And this, this forms a picot like this. And then another five double crochets in the six chain loop. Now, when we uh, finished the, the five double crochets at this side, then we come to the stitch. Uh, this is the single crochet stitch on the um, round six, right? So we need to first, we pick up two. This is the back of the flower petal. We pick up two loops, one loop from this stitch and one loop from this stitch pick up these two loops and then go to this single crochet stitch and make a single crochet. And next, we need to do five double crochets in this six chain loops. And then a two chain pick up. Then another five double crochets. And the next we come to this stitch. This is the slip stitch we made on the an uh, eighth round post, right? So we make a slip stitch here. Then we make the another leaf on the next uh, loop. That is five. and the two chain pick up and five double crochets. Then we will go to the single crochet stitch 
which we made on the round six. <coughs> I'm sorry. And when we make this, we need to pick up these two loops, right? And together with this single crochet stitch to make a single crochet. So then we can make a summary about this round. Uh, first, we make five double crochets and make a two chain picot and another five double crochets to finish this leaf. Then we need to pick up two loops, the back of the two loops for these two middle um, treble stitches. Together with the single crochet stitch, which we make on the um, round six, we make together to make a single crochet to fix the left side of the leaf. Then we start the second leaf. And this leaf, we fi fix the left side with the, st the slip stitch, which we make on the, the eighth round. Then we also make a slip stitch. Then the third is same as the first. The fourth is same as the second. So when you need to fix on the this on the single crochet stitch, the single crochet stitch on the round six, then you need to pick up two loops of the petal of the fourth layer to together to make this together, make a single crochet. If you fixed at this stitch, this stitch, you just make a slip stitch to fix it. So one uh, leaf with this, this stitch and one leaf with this stitch, just a repeat to finish this round. Uh, now I finished the last leaf and then we make a slip stitch on the first This stitch and then cut the yarn and round 11 is finished you can see from the um, right side it is like this from the wrong side it's like this and then we weave in the yarn uh, please weave in the yarn uh, when every time before you change the color Otherwise, there will be a lot of work when you finish all the... Okay, now we start the round um, 12. Round 12 is to make the motif as a square. So first we make a like this and then we start from any and uh, the leaf tips at the back of the leaf tip there is there is a two loops here and I just insert this two loops and then we make four chains one two three four after make four chains we go back to the first chain and make a slip stitch. So here we have a four chain loop at the tip of the leaves. And then we do five chains. One, uh, then weave in the yarns. Two, three, four, five. Then we come to the back of next leaf. Here, as uh, here we have five single uh, double crochets, right? This is not the first one. This is the three chains, right? This is the first stitch. So the second stitch, this is the second stitch. At the bottom, you just pick up two loops of this stitch. Pick up two loops. 
pick up two loops of this stitch and make a slip stitch and then do four chains then we go back to this this is if we count back this is also the second uh, stitch so make a slip stitch on this leaf then we do five chains and pick up these two loops of the next uh, leaf tip make a slip stitch and four chains slip back to the first stitch make a four chain loop at this tip now we can see uh, first we connect the yarn at the tip of the first leaf and then make a four chain loop and then five chains slip onto the second double crochet stitch of last round then four chains slip onto the um, back count the, the second stitch like this and five chain then go back go to the next leaf tip make a slip stitch and then make a four chain loop we just repeat this two uh, three times more then the motif turns to a square so i show you again after make this four chain uh, loop we do five chains and next stitch we pick up the second stitch loop then four chains go to the other side of this leaf the same leaf also the second one make a slip stitch and five chains and slip to the tip the very tip pick up two loops do a slip stitch and then four chains and a slip stitch and repeat go to here four um, then four chains go to here five chains go to here and finish this round now i finished the uh, the last five chains and then i slip to the same um, stitch the two same two loops of the from the very beginning okay so the round uh, 12 is finished and now we do not need to change the uh, yarn and do the round 13. first we need to make a slip stitch to move the stitch to the loop uh, after this you can see here have already has a this four four chain loop at the corners so first we make the corner that is three chains this count as a double crochet then another double crochet in the loop this means two double crochets and then three chain and two double crochet in the loop four chain loop so this is a corner that is two double crochet three chain two double crochet and then we do one chain and in this five uh, chain space we do two double crochets one chain and two double crochet okay in this and the next we do one chain then we need to fix this um, 
leaf. So first, we pick up the back, the tip, back of the tip to two loops, and make a single crochet, and then make a double crochet on the four chain loop. This loop. Okay, then one chain. In next five uh, chain space, we make two double crochet, one chain, two double crochet, one chain, and then we do the corner in the four chain, this loop, the small loop. The corner is two double crochet, three chain, and two double crochet. Okay, then one chain. We need to repeat. So let let's do a summary of this. First, in the four chain loop. We do a corner that is two double crochet, three chain, and two double crochet, and then in the the five chain space we do one chain, um, two double crochet twice, and then we do one chain and one single crochet to fix this leaf tip, and then another double crochet on in the in this four chain space. And then next, one chain, two double crochet twice in this five chain space. Then one chain, then do the corner. Just repeat this to finish this round. Now I finished this round, and then we do a cut the yarn and do an invisible joint. Okay, then next three round is uh, easy because we only need to do the grannies. So next we start from any one chain space. Any one chain space is okay. And three chains. This count as a double crochet. And another double crochet in the same space, one chain space, then one chain, and do um, two double crochets in each of one chain space, then corner is the corner, the corner just do two double crochets, three chain, two double crochets, so this is two double crochet, I weave in the yarns and one chain, two double crochet, one chain, two double crochet. Then the three chain uh, space is the corner. So one chain and we do two double crochet, three chain. Just do like this and to finish this round. And the round 15 is the same. Just to change another color of the yarn and also make a round of granny. And the round 16, everything is the same except that the corner stitch is not three. Three chain, it's two chain for the corner stitch. So then we finished this motif. Now I finished the last round and uh, uh, at last we do an invisible joint.
Okay, now the mat two is finished. 